Hi everybody, my name is Cole Holland and I am a fourth year medical student at the University of Texas at Austin Dell Medical School. Today I would like to introduce our article recently published in Archives of Plastic Surgery named Isolated Spinal Accessory Nerve Palsy from Volleyball Injury. Spinal accessory nerve palsy is typically a result of posterior triangle surgery presenting with severe shoulder dysfunction due to paralysis of the trapezius muscle. A number of atypical causes have of sand palsy have been described in literature, including nerve compression from muscle hypertrophy due to manual labor and sports activities, as well as stretch injury. Today, we share an atypical case of a patient who presented with SAN palsy following an injury playing competitive volleyball. This patient was a 19-year-old right-hand dominant competitive volleyball player who presented to our clinic with right shoulder weakness, dyskinesia, and pain. She injured the, the right shoulder during a volleyball game two years prior. At another institution, she underwent an anterior and middle scaling resection and internal and external neurolysis of a long thoracic and suprascapular nerve. This was done at two months and there was no symptom improvement. When we saw her, we performed EMG and MRI which revealed atrophy and fatty replacement of the trapezius muscle. On our physical exam, she had weakness of shoulder shrug and a pronounced shift of the scapula when abducting or forward flexing her shoulder greater than 90 degrees. When we did manual stabilization of the scapula, this eliminated the shift and allowed her to abduct and forward flex without any discomfort. We then went ahead and performed a scapula pexy to stabilize the inferior angle of the scapula to the thorax. She improved well and at six months she regained full active range of motion of the shoulder with, with smooth painless motion. Conclusions of this case were sand palsy can occur following from what would seem to be a routine volleyball maneuver. This could have been due to muscle hypertrophy from intensive volleyball training and stretch sustained while diving for a ball. Finally, despite delayed presentation and complete atrophy of the trapezius, a satisfactory outcome was achieved with scapulopexy.